Welcome to Area 3. This is where the game starts to pick up in nastiness. Because you're going to start getting some small guns to shoot in the ground. You're going to start getting some uh, snipers in the trees that always get a shot off before you can kill them. It makes them really annoying to deal with, let me tell you. Oh, rapid fire. So now my spreader bullets fly a little faster. And that's, always, that's a great way to take care of those guns, by the way. By jumping and firing into the top of them. Because you get more bullets on them. Plus, hey, you're mobile. Just keep firing. Firing, firing, firing. Alright, that's a machine gun. That means that I don't want it. Now here's a good spot. If you really want to be a, a jerk and farm points, you can sit here and shoot these all day. But you don't want to spend too much time doing that. And you definitely don't want the laser. God, no. If you have to go choosing between the laser and... Uh, using the regular gun, only use the laser in spots where you know you're going to be facing machinery. It, it tends to work okay on machine uh, enemies. If you're in trouble, duck under the water. Yes, for some reason enemies can't hit you when you're underwater. Don't ask me. I'm not the programmer. I'm just a girl. Wait, no, that's, that's Simpsons. My bad. My bad. Yes, as you can tell, the enemies just love jumping out of trees. All right. Maybe saying, well, this is still pretty easy. I mean, yeah, there's a few more bullets to deal with and more enemies to worry about, but really, it's the same old thing, right? Well, yes and no. Come on, out of there. One more? Oh, a couple more. That's nice of them. Well, here you go. How about a mini boss? Yes, you don't want to get crushed by him, so get on the roof here. Give yourself a little bit of time. Just you got to be very careful moving on top; you don't get shot. Because he shoots pretty fast. Just stay away from the gun turrets. Time your running, cool runnings, etc. There you go. Whee! Standing on top of exploding machinery is fun, kids, and it's also very safe. And now, we get a B. I'm not sure what the B stands for, but it makes you invulnerable. See? That guy just bounced right off me. However, in a game that's designed around uh, shooting enemies, is it really that wise to give them a chance to, uh, to, to run into you just as it runs out? I think not, so just keep firing. And you'll notice there that I left behind a spreader icon. Well, there was a fire icon in the way, and... I just didn't feel like collecting it. Now, you got to be careful as well here. Uh, the programming is a little glitchy. If you land on the corner of one of those falling land masses, you can actually die. But we're not going to worry about that, because here comes the boss of level 3. Yeah, I'm, I'm playing this way too safe for most people's tastes, but you know what? You're not the ones here fighting it. Ah, we'll kill the last one. The core was open. You don't have to kill any of those guys, technically. You can kill the core without ever having to deal with that. But typically, I kill everything just for the points. But eh, I think you can leave the core that wide open. I'll take care of it. Area 4. Slightly different because it is a scroller, but you're also going to get some up and down scrolling in here. You can blast your way through these bubbles and ignore them, but you know what? Just take care of them. It's safer. I can get a machine gun at the start. Oh, carefully don't get shot. There's a few of those guys in here that like to show up at the worst times. But they only seem to show up when you're moving for whatever reason. Probably going to be at least one more of them coming from behind here. Now, just shoot that stuff and duck. Let it fall apart. Better than trying to blow it up. Oh, yes. These jumping fools here. Come on. Die. There we go. Now, as you're climbing, don't fall. Because if you fall off the screen, you die. Yes, it, the same rules from Contra. It's it's really aggravating way to deal with things. And uh, you can scroll that gun off the screen, by the way. 
And you can also kill off that guy pretty easily. Now, this is where things start to get truly nasty. You get a couple of these at the start. Get the rapid fire. Get the machine gun if you need it first, though. I've still got my spreader, so we'll go with that. We're going to be facing off with some gun turrets. Which aren't that bad, honestly. I see that these holes in the wall, they indicate we're going to have to be facing some of those red wing guys jumping down at us, but not yet. Soon, though. Real soon. Just remember, keep firing upwards. And you jump up here, you get more of that. Yes, gun turrets. But these ones are mobile. Though they don't throw as many bullets, thankfully. But we get more. You know, I didn't play this that well. You know, I played that really badly and got away with it. You should really try to kill those guns before they're at your level. Because after this, and you want to have that spreader, by the way. Because we're going in an area where we get attacked by these diving bubble things. And they're soon going to be joined by more of the red troopers up there. Just keep firing away. Keep using your spreader. Don't let, them, don't let them gang up. Don't let them start jumping. You let them start jumping, the terrorists have already won. Or in this case, the aliens have already won, because they're going to kill you. And also, climb up above their level. They'll stop popping out at that point. Is that it, or one more set? Here we go, boss time. Gotta be careful you don't get trapped. The only danger is, as you kill them, they start to get smaller area and harder to kill them, but it's not that hard a boss. Now, if you have a single bullet weapon, like a regular gun or machine gun, it's harder. <laughs> Definitely. But, you'll have to come back tomorrow to see Area 5. Enjoy.